Welcome to the Engineerable channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly tune the motor engagement of the Pulsar Pro and how you may be able to fix your Pulsar if it is not shooting anymore and making a very high pitched whining sound. It means that the pinion gear which is attached to the motor has stripped the bevel gear. Sometimes it is possible to fix that simply by pushing the motor more into the bevel gear such that the gear teeth engage properly again and it starts turning the gears. However, if your gears are stripped too bad, this may not work. But it's worth a try because you don't have to take anything apart. At the bottom of the handle, you'll notice a small hole here. This hole gives you access to the set screw in there that pushes the motor forwards. In order to adjust the set screw, you're going to need a two millimeter Allen wrench like this. And so you can put it in there, wiggle it until it locks into place, and then you can turn it to adjust the engagement of the motor pinion gear with the bevel gear. So if you turn it clockwise, it's going to push the motor further into the bevel gear and it's going to improve the engagement. And then if you turn it counterclockwise, it's going to pull the motor away and it's going to decrease the engagement. So if your blaster is making a high pitched whining sound, you need to put the Allen wrench in here into the set screw and turn it clockwise until it bottoms out, which for me is about two turns. Then you're going to need to pull the trigger to fire it and listen to see if it's working again and if the motor sounds like it's straining. So if the motor sounds like it's straining, you then turn the Allen wrench counterclockwise and keep firing until the motor no longer sounds like it's straining. But of course you don't want it slipping and stripping the gear again. Now that your gears are engaged again and it's shooting properly, I'm going to disassemble this and show you what it looks like inside with the motor engagement and how to properly tune it. So one of the things I was curious to see is have they properly adjusted the position of the motor and the pinion gear and the bevel gear from the factory. And I can tell that the motor is already pushed pretty far forward. So there's only a small gap up here, about one to two millimeters. Let's see how much the motor has been pushed forward. So if I turn backwards, let's say one rotation, two rotations. So it looks like the motor is already pushed forward about two rotations. And so that means that they did do some adjustments from the factory to get the pinion and bevel gear engagement correct. But I can tell that I can push on the motor a little bit and it easily moves forward there. So it may be difficult to hear this over the sound of the piston and stuff, but you can definitely hear a different sound from the motor as you adjust the motor forward. So right now, it doesn't sound like the motor is forcing or anything. As I, as I turn it a little bit, you start to hear a whine from the motor. Here you start to hear a lot more. So back it off. So you back it off until the motor sounds smooth. And that's the position you're looking for, which is pretty close to what the factory setting was. So if you hear like a motor whine or gear whine, it's too far forward and then just back it up a little bit until you stop hearing that whine. And that's the easiest way to properly adjust the motor without having to take it apart and shim stuff. I hope that this video helped you properly tune your Pulsar Pro. So now the motor pinion to bevel gear engagement is perfectly adjusted and your Pulsar Pro will continue to shoot well.